My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a dragon in Photoshop. Now, dragons are a very tricky animal to draw because they're not necessarily real, so their dimensions are a lot like reptiles or like dinosaurs. So I'm going to show you basically the basic structure of a dragon's body and how to um, mess around with that. Um, so basically you can draw the shape of a horse, uh, like a horse's body, but then you're going to want a longer neck and kind of like a triangular face. This is just the skeleton, so don't, don't be discouraged by this. Uh, it just helps a little bit to, to, to do it this way, and they have wings as well and a tail. So what then I'm going to do is I'm going to make the opacity of this a little bit small, uh, lesser so that it's a little bit lighter, so I can draw right on top of it. And I'm going to select my black, and I'm going to get to work on this dragon. So dragons have a very interesting shape of face. Um, they have a, an eyebrow that comes down like that typically, and then they have a nose that comes up like this with a little curve at the end. And it doesn't have to be like that. I mean, there are so many different types of dragons you can draw. Um, but I'm going to draw one that's mostly based on the Chinese dragon. Um, And they have, very, they have very angular faces and usually have something like this on their face. Um, and now if, the cool thing about Photoshop is you can always go back in and edit things with the eraser tool and the um, undo button and, uh, the, when you're using uh, the paintbrush. So I'm just going to draw his uh, a horn real quick and then another horn. And then you can draw like an ear. Okay, so here you've got your head. Um, and normally they're probably going to have all sorts of horns and spikes, but I'm just going to give you a very basic uh, dragon. And their necks are usually curved like this. And more often than not, they have a chest cavity, kind of like that because they're flying animals. They don't really need a whole lot of uh, backbone here, I mean uh, shoulder bone. But then you can, and see I'm already starting to round out of space. So what you can do is, like I said, just go to canvas and add more height to it. So I'm going to make it actually 13 so that way we can have enough space to mess around with this. I'm just going to delete my um, skeleton, because I, I know now what it looks like and what I should be doing. Um, and you can use the lasso tool, which is right here, right below the marquee tool. And you can select it and you can delete anything you don't really like. So I'm going to do that. Um, and now dragons have um, legs and behinds, kind of like a lion. Um, and this can get really tricky because the leg shape is a difficult one. So sometimes it's even better to start the leg shape from like the bottom. So if you, if you start off like this and it's got this kind of leg like that. And dragon claws are a lot like alligator claws in the sense that they have this kind of um, arc to them. And you can draw one of these. And you can just do that. And so this leg is kind of random right now. But this is okay because we're not really going to worry about it quite yet. But it's just to get the general idea of this, this shape. So then you're going to draw the, the front and which is also a lot like a lion or a horse. And I'm losing space again, so I'm going to move him up a little and do the same kind of foot. Um, 
if, you know, you can make it as intricate as you want. Um, I'm not really... All right, so that's how you do the feet, and then the chest is probably gonna be about like that. Um, and so now I'm gonna move my leg because it's kind of in the way. And if worse comes to worse, you can always shrink it too by free transforming it. And the way you do that is control click, free transform. Just shrink that down a little. All right, so now we're almost finished. So now I'm actually gonna erase this back part. Oops. And start to give him wings. And dragon wings can be really tricky because their shape is so interesting. And then you can, if you want, just go back in here like this. And then you can add, you know, a claw or two. It, it really depends. And they always. The, the claws always originate from this part, so just remember to have these connect. And it doesn't have to look like that. I'm just saying, like, make sure you remember that they always connect from up here because they spread out so that they become kind of like that kind of shape. Um, and then once you're done, you can draw the tail. And the tail is probably going to be um, all depending on your dragon. Like, this is a dragon that I'm drawing based on a whole bunch of different dragons. and even though it doesn't really look proportionally correct, it's pretty much how you're gonna draw the body parts. And just keep in mind, it's a lot like a horse. And then the tail, we're just gonna, um, I'm gonna add another in two inches. Just make this tail. And usually dragons have this thing at the end of the tail. And that is how you draw a dragon in Photoshop. My name is Alex Cecilio, and thank you very much.